الحمد لله رب العالمين والعاقبة للمتقين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين وبعد half of Ramadan is approaching Ikhwan without even realizing it just started yesterday and how fast it's gone we are nearly halfway and each one of us that are here today that have put this Qiyam forth each one of us that are fasting during the day abandoning our food and drink la shak wa la raib we want the reward of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his maghfirah and his mercy and we seek salvation from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's punishment la shak wa la raib these are the intentions but something that we should know which is extremely important that fasting my brothers is not just merely withholding from those things مفترات, those things that will break your fast but rather the Salaf when they looked at what Siyam was what fasting was this is what they have to say Umar ibn Abdul Aziz Rahimullah he said لَيْسَ تَقْوَ اللَّهَ عَزَّ وَجَلَّ الصيام النهار ولا بقيام الليل. he said fast in F1. he said تقوى الله of of Allah سبحانه وتعالى. the تقوى of Allah. it is not merely fasting during the day and standing in the night prayer at night. that's not تقوى of Allah. ولكن تقوى الله عز وجل ترك ما حرم الله. But taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is abstaining and abandoning what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made haram. Wa'ada maftarad Allah. And also to carry out that which Allah has obligated upon us. This is taqwa. Abandoning and staying away from that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made unlawful. And carrying out the wajibat. And then he went on to say, وَمَنْ رَزَقَ بَعْدَ ذَلِكَ خَيْرٍ فَهُوَ خَيْرِ لَا خَيْرٍ And whomsoever increases goodness upon this, then this is from goodness to goodness. But look at what he said. It's not merely standing in the night prayer. It's not merely fasting during the day only. But rather abandoning and staying away from that which is haram. Many of us don't realize. Perhaps you may say a kalima. Or you may say an action that will jeopardize your siyam. Sheikh Uthayameen, likewise, when he gives the definition of psalm, he said, A psalm, al maqsood bi psalm, tark muharramat. He said, The intent of fasting is that you abandon sinning and you will stay away from the muharramat. Wa yastadil bi kawlihi ta'ala, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu, kutiba alaykum siyam. He uses that verse that you're all acquainted with. That fasting was prescribed upon us. Just as it was prescribed upon those before us. So that you may become of those individuals who are the muttaqoon. Let's listen to what Sheikh Uthiyabin he says. This is the maqsood. This is the intent to gain that taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. ما قال الله عز وجل لعلكم تجوعون. Allah didn't say so that you may gain hunger and be hungry. لعلكم تعتشون. لعلكم تمسكون عن الأهل. He didn't say that perhaps you will become thirsty or perhaps you will stay away from relations with your families. لعلكم تتقون. So you may gain that taqwa. So this is the intent. شق في يمين. Likewise, he goes on to mention. He says. أما ترك المفطرات هذا يسمى الصوم الظاهري. As for the one that abstains from the things that will break his fast, then this is merely what they say a الصوم الظاهري. It's an apparent fast. It seems apparent that you're fasting. أما الصوم القلبي. As for the definition of the fast that is from the heart, ترك محرمات. That you stay away from the محرمات. So this is why our noble messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he mentions a hadith which is collected in Sahih al-Bukhari 
on the authority of Abu Harir radiallahu ta'ala an when he said qala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam man lam yada'a qawl al-zur wa amala bihi wal jahl fa laysa lillahi al-haja an yada'a ta'amuhu wa sharabahu in Bukhari the messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he says as for the one that does not leave off false statement evil deeds criticizing others out of jahl then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not in need that you have left off your food and your drink what does that mean that you're jeopardizing your fast so once again we understand it's not that you're just fasting staying away from food and drink but you must stay away basurukakum your eyesight your hearing your limbs Everything which Allah has made haram, you have to stay away from this. You have to stay away from this, Ikhwan, otherwise you will jeopardize your deeds. And we seek refuge from being from those individuals which Allah, which the Messenger of Allah mentions in the hadith. A hadith which is collected in Sahil Muslim, where the Messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam addressing his companions, he said, Atadruna mal muflis. Do you know who the one do you know the one who is bankrupt? Who is the one that is bankrupt? So the companions upon hearing this, they said, Al Muflis Fina Maladiram Lahu Wala Mata. The one who is bankrupt is the one that does not have no dirhams. Dirhams, no money. He doesn't have no provisions. So then the messenger then explained what is the muflis. The one that is bankrupt. He said, Al Muflis min ummati, the one that is bankrupt from my ummah. Yati yawm al qiyama, bis salatin wa bis siyamin wa bis zakatin. That the one who is bankrupt from my ummah, he will come on the day of judgment with salah. He's performed salah, so he will come with the good deeds of salah, was siyam, and fasting. And zakat, he gave. Then listen to what the messenger he said. وَقَدْ شَتَمَا هَذَا وَقَدْ قَذَفَ هَذَا وَأَكَلَ مَالَ هَذَا وَسَفَقَ الدَّمْ هَذَا وَضَرَبَ هَذَا But he came and he would criticize, slander such and such, take the wealth of this individual unlawfully, shed the blood of this one, beat this one, so then what happens to him? What will happen to him? The Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he mentions, فَيُعْتَى مِنْ حَسَنَاتِهِ لِهَذَا So then his good deeds will be given to him, the one that he wronged. And be given to him another one. حَتَّى فُنِيَتْ حَسَنَاتُهُ Up until all of his good deeds will be gone. And if all of his good deeds have gone before he is judged, then... What happens next? It doesn't stop there, my brothers. It mentions, min faturihat So then their wrong deeds, their evil deeds, their sins will be placed on his back. The burden will be then. So the one that he wronged, first he will lose his good deeds. And once they have run out, then the wrong deeds of others will be put on his back. He'll have the burden. And then he will be casted into the hellfire. And we seek refuge from Allah. But look and ponder, my brothers and sisters, look what the messenger he said. He established the salah. The fast. But still, he loses all of it. This is the one that is bankrupt. So we ask, we, have, we ask Allah Azza wa Jalla, we pray to Allah that we are not from those individuals. And it is something, Ikhwan, for us to have tanbih, to reflect upon how are we spending our day? How are, you, how are we using our tongues? Is it to read the book of Allah? Is it to speak good about your brother behind his back? Or are you using your tongue to slander and cause problems amongst your brothers and your sisters? Or are you using it for some evil speech and evil deeds? Ikhwan, it is not merely abandoning food and drink. 
Don't be of those individuals that the Messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he mentions, Rubba sa'im, hadha min siyamihi, al al atash. He said, perhaps that the one that fasts, and obviously the one that intended here is the one that is not abandoning the sins, then he, the portion of he receives, or the share that he receives for abandoning his food, but yet he did not abandon the wrong, al ju al atash. All he gets in reward is what? Hunger and thirst. Nothing else. And the Messenger Muhammad وسلم, also said, Rubba qa'imin haddahu min qiyamihi al-sahar. And for the one that stands in the night prayer, puts his salah forth, but he does not abandon the wrong, then likewise him, what has he done? He's just having sleepless nights. Sleepless nights. So, Ikhwan, Pray to Allah that he gives us tawfiq. And I address myself first and my brothers and my sisters. That let's be individuals that have intellect and people that think and people that are deep thinking. It's not merely abandoning food and drink. Look to your actions during the day and at night. What are you doing? After you've done this great action of fasting, great action of standing in the night prayer, how are you in your spare time? What are you saying and what are you doing? So take heed, Ikhwan. That we do not be from among individuals that are the mufli seen on the day of judgment, the people that are bankrupt, and we seek refuge from that. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. Aquli kawli hadha, astaghfirullah li wa lakum, fa astaghfiruhu, innahu wal ghafur rahim. Barakallahu feekum.